Hi, I'm Peter Charles of Hooked Fly Fly Fishing, and today let's look at tying the sunray shadow. Now, this is a very uh, effective fly for Atlantic salmon and sees a lot of use in the UK and in Scandinavia. But there's no reason why we can't use it on this side of the pond for smallmouth bass, steelhead, or, or many other species. It's a very, very easy fly to tie, uh, makes for a great first tube fly project. So let's get started and look at our materials. First off, I'm using uh, a simple tube fly vice adapter. This one's put out by Canadian Tube Fly. And the great advantage of this is you can use your standard vise and tie tube flies on it. You don't have to go out and buy an expensive vise to do it. My thread today is a uni thread, six odd in black. I'm going to use white bucktail for the underwing. Then I'm going to use some black dyed Arctic Fox. The main wing is going to be black dyed Icelandic sheep. I'm going to put the topping on it of peacock curl. Okay, let's get started. Now this fly has nothing here on the body, so we're going to start our thread right at the front and just go back about an eighth of an inch or, you know, two millimeters if you're into metric. The next step is our bucktail. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind with bucktail. The hair at the top is solid and the hair on the bottom is hollow. So if you tie using the, the hair at the bottom, it has a tendency to flare. So we're going to use the hair at the top because we don't want this to flare. Now there's a lot of short stuff in here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stroke that out over the waste paper basket. Now those hairs look mostly aligned, a couple of long ones I'll take out, and I'm going to make this come back about half an inch beyond the end of the tube. Here's a pinch loop top to wrap it down. And I'm just going to turn that, make sure it's straight, press it into position, hold it, and then I'm just going to wrap forward. When we get almost to the end, I'm just going to trim off the excess. And then I'm just going to wrap forward and just wrap back. And when we get to near the back, I'm going to put in a couple of soft wraps and that keeps that uh, bucktail laying flat. Okay, the next step is our Arctic Fox. Now, like the uh, bucktail, it has some soft stuff in here. So I'm going to stroke that out using a toothbrush. You don't want this fly getting too bulky, so um, if you uh, get a lot of that small stuff tied into your fly, your fly ends up bulky. Okay, there's the Arctic Fox in place. And now we're going to move on to our Icelandic sheep. Uh, make sure you pick a strand that is straight. Uh, a curve in one direction is fine, but if you get uh, too much of a curve going in, in multiple directions, it uh, doesn't look so great. Again, don't choose a big clump. Um, and uh, we have to get rid of the loose small bits at the end. Here's your toothbrush. Okay, figure out where that's curving. Okay, I've got the curve facing down. And I'll just put a pinch wrap in there, move that forward, cut off the excess, and clean that up. Now you might have a few strays in there, so go in with your scissors and cut out any strays you might see. And the last step is our peacock curl. Take out about three nice straight strands and put them about the length of the wing. Just fold that back to trap them into place. Now I'll put a couple of soft wraps at the back to hold them down, then I'll wrap forward and uh, clean that all up. The last step is to whip finish. And just trim it off. Now we're ready for the head cement and we can go fishing. Anyway, so give the fly a try. It's very easy to do and it's very effective pattern. Cheers.